Hey guys, DMike here. Hello and welcome back to the finale of Pikmin 1. At least I think that that's what this is going to be. I probably am able to finish this up in this episode. If I don't, then it has gone catastrophically wrong and you have seen the end times. But we're headed to the final trial. This is where the final piece of the game is with a little bit of work to do alongside the final boss. This area is actually the same as the final area of Pikmin 2, part of it. I think, I could be wrong, but I think that that's what it is. But here it is, the final trio. Prepare yourselves. The music's pretty ominous, but I'm not 100% sure why. Um, so the first thing you're gonna have to do is a little bit of a puzzle. It's not, I don't know, I don't know this area, for some reason, is hyped up. I mean, they call it the final trial, but I've, you know, I've gone through this a little bit. And what a nothing burger of a, of a place, you know? I was expecting this to actually be really tricky, like there should be some enemies. Um, I mean, think back to the final area of Pikmin 2. There's a whole lot going on there, right? It's pretty tricky. This area looks intimidating, but in reality, it's not. I would say this is probably even easier than the final area of Pikmin 3. So, take that for what it's worth. But we've got two bridges here that we need to build. We have a bombable wall, which in this case, I'm starting to figure that the color of the wall matters, maybe? So, we're gonna get three yellows out, exactly three and only three. Unless I kill them and then, oops. And we're gonna complete this heinous puzzle. Yeah, I'm just a little underwhelmed by this. I would have expected it to be a little bit trickier given the nature that it's the final final countdown here and it's just not it's nothing special like I'm not gonna say that the final boss isn't cool the final boss is tricky you'll see that in a little bit nope you can come down where is my boy whoop there it is it only took me 10 episodes to learn you can change which Pikmin you have and you can safely throw yellow Pikmin with bomb rocks, the platforms, as long as there are no enemies in tow. And there aren't any enemies in this entire area, which is weird because that would have made sense. But yeah, that's not embellishment. Um, there's none. And I think that that's really strange. It kind of weirds me out a little bit. But it looks like our blue Pikmin have both safely torn down the bridges that we need, or torn down build. This is me with bridge slash puzzle pieces all over again. I'm gonna go and put the blues back. You do need all flavors of Pikmin for this endeavor. So don't you be thinking otherwise. I actually might be able to get most of this done. I mean, I can get all of this done actually. Um, within the confines of this day, but I'm not gonna do that. Cause I like symmetry. So I'm going to finish everything that requires prep. In day 19, then day 20 will be when I actually take on the big bad. As you can see, this area, like, there's just, there's nothing to this. Like, it's it's really strange where, historically, I've looked this when I've watched videos, and I'm like, oh, man, that looks so tricky. How would they ever figure that out? And this is before I really had experienced it for myself, and then I tried it, and I was like, oh. So it's like two minor puzzles, and then that's it? So it is what it is. Probably will be able to be done with this within the next, like, I don't know, five minutes of my life. 
I don't even know why I got 30. I don't need 30. Um, there's a little work that needs to be done. And it's all going to be prep for what I'm going to do in the next day. But I'm not going to do that until I have completely finished off this area. So I think I actually only need... Yeah, I don't know why I got 30. That was dumb. Or wait, maybe there is... Hold on. There might be a good reason to have more... I'll just park the additional reds here at the other side of this. This is a cardboard box. What a tricky final challenge. We'll park them here. I think... Unless I'm mistaken... That... There might be one final... Um, what am I trying to say here? Wall? Wow. Struggling with words. Yeah, I think there's one final wall that needs to be circumvented, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Instead, you'll need 10 of your reds. This is a classic cardboard box pushing puzzle. So throw them up onto the ledge of fire geysers and waddle them all the way around here. You're not going to be able to actually physically go too far. So instead, you can kind of do this. Ta-da! Viewers, we did it! We solved the toughest puzzle in the game. Yeah. And there's another wall. Okay, so I was right. Good. So I guess that does justify keeping these additional reds. So we'll use all those who participated and waited around. Where are you guys? Are you in the box? Okay. And there is a spooky thing back there. Ooh, what could that be? Well, you're going to find out. I'm going to have my reds dispatch this wall, which is weird that they didn't put, like, they didn't pull out all the stops. Like, you would have thought, you know, it's the end of the game, it's the final level. You know, let's make it tricky. We're going to hang out around the outside here. If you couldn't tell, this is where the final arena is. Surprise! And we're going to have our reds take care of this wall, too. And then in the next day of this episode, which this episode's probably going to be shorter than you'd expect for a fin I mean, there's still like the final credits and all that crap, so that'll be something that I do in that time frame. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm actually just going to go, I think that's it. Yeah, there's only just the one puzzle piece, not puzzle. Wow, I did it again. No, um, shit piece. So I'm actually just gonna go to sunset now. And then day 20 will be the finale, the final day. We were able to get all 30 ship parts, well, hypothetically, 10 days sooner. So we underpromised and overdelivered, as to be expected at D Mike Industries. That's quality. We deserve a promotion, viewers. Yeah, I don't know why they show there being a bull board, because there isn't. Very strange. 19 days since impact. Fire pick fire should be a natural enemy of the Okay, so they're just telling you this? <laughs> oh game. You're so silly, Willy. Yeah, that's it. Day 19, success. Pretty much a nothing burger. But day 20 is when things are gonna get spicy. And it's actually good that they did bring up Red Pikmin, because we do need them for this final trial. And I really hope they didn't reset anything. That'll peeve me beyond belief. I don't think that they would have. Usually everything kind of hangs out for uh, a hot minute. So I believe I need, I want to say, maybe 15 yellows. I'm going to do this first. You're going to need your yellows and your reds for this, by the way. So yellows and reds are at a premium. Put the three yellows there. Okay, looks like everything is still pretty clear. You've got a direct path to the final boss, so there shouldn't really be any sort of hiccups there. And being careful again. Don't trigger him. I'm so triggered. Get your yellows up there. Hopefully to pick up. Okay. I mean, you know, just do your thing. Don't, uh, don't do what I asked you to do. Get up there. Hello. 
You have one job. It's in your blood. Oh, there's more in there. Ah. All right, we'll get the one that's obvious. It's hanging out. You're wasting time here. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I can get up there, but I honestly don't really need all of the bomb rocks that I'm trying to acquire right now. So I don't think so. It'd be, it's one of those like nice to haves in case you goof in this final fight. Yeah, I mean, that's probably enough. That's, you know, that's probably good. I didn't even need to get the, uh, the yellows that I had. So that's your bomb squad. If you haven't noticed, this is kind of a, a bit of a theme in the way that I do this. So I think for safety, I will grab the remainder of the bomb rocks that are available to us here. Once again, not sure if I need to, but you know, every little bit helps. And I don't foresee it really taking the full day to do this fight. So I might as well just make something of it. Or I'm making something of nothing, which never happens in this Let's Play. All right. Cool. Good for you. Get that. Wonderful. Okay. So you're doing great. Um, let's toss the yellows back onto shore. And we'll come back for you. Nope, that is not what I meant to do. Captain Olimar's getting himself a little massage. No time for that. We have to kill stuff. All right. So we'll do that. We have 15 yellows now that all have bomb rocks. And there's still some bomb rocks to spare. So I'm just going to fill out the rest of the squad with reds. This is when you go for broke. There's no reason not to kind of go all out. And you can take time. There's uh, There's some nectar grass and whatever if you want to fully form your Pikmin. It's not really necessary at this point. You'll have enough going on. Oops. Oh, well. Sorry about that. You didn't make it. You can't cross the bridge. You can't join me for a final fight. That's the rules. Okay, so... What I'm gonna do... Oh boy. I only lost three. That's not bad. Can't make an omelet without cracking a few eggs. Alright, so... What I think I'm gonna do... I'm just going to kind of park my reds here. Oop. And grab my yellows. And we're going to start this fight here in a second. I actually need one of my reds. Just one. To trigger the boss and get him real grumpy at me. You get to be the sacrifice. Whee! Okay. Here he is. And the boss music kind of changes. This, my friends, is the Emperor Bullblacks. We've seen this boy before. Um, this is the final boss of this game, obviously, but it, uh, oops, don't want you to go near my reds. Stop that. He's been in Pikmin 2, Pikmin 3, Pikmin 4. It's a lot smaller. Oh, oh boy. Don't you go over there. Don't need you to do that. That's not cool. Stop it. Okay, that was not intended. Okay, so everything <laughs> this is not going according to plan. I would like uh, him to eat this. Throw it. Okay. So that works. Um, that was not <laughs> that was not the way that I intended for this fight to go. Only having uh, <laughs> only having thirty reds. I'm actually gonna. <laughs> All right, that's me being stupid. Okay, so hold on. And then the music just goes back to s Serenity. Yeah, I messed that up. I didn't know that he would aggro away from Olimar. That's fine. We got plenty of, <laughs> plenty of time to run back and just gather more Pikmin so that way he can eat 60 of them at a time. Isn't this an exciting finale? This is one of those moments where you just take what you're given. And, uh, you know, we got plenty more reds to, to make do. We're doing okay. And worst case scenario, you do have uh, you do have candy pop buds over there to switch the color of your Pikmin. But I'm gonna do my best not to get my reds murdered, like I just did. Hide your squad in the little uh, alcove at the top. He won't go in there. But he will try to come all the way out here. Um. I think that they're safe in the entrance, maybe? 
We're going to find out. All right, so I don't think he gains health either. Maybe. If he does, that'd be uh, really rude. So let's try to lure him to the entrance first. So that way I can switch quickly to the reds. Okay, there's the music. It's like sort of kind of like B Bowser Final Fight music. Let's see if I can get him to open his mouth for me. Okay, good. So he's eating that bomb rock. Boop. Got to sacrifice yellow for it. It's okay. And then fire away with your reds. Okay. Come on back. Whoop. Run, 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 run. Run and run. Don't get eaten up by this giant goober. Yeah. So this takes a little bit. Um, I'm fine with him eating the yellow. Let him aggro on you. Throw your reds. If you have any. Not really playing this expertly, of course. Oh, he didn't eat the yellow. I thought he did. Okay. That's fine. He also can kind of butt stomp your, your reds. Or any pick one, I guess, that you have. I would love to be able to see. <laughs> oh, camera angles in this game. Never a problem. All right. So that one yellow is, uh, is a survivor. We do just need the bomb rock variety, of course. And then we'll switch. Don't throw it. Just wait. Hello? Hello? Can you have a little snack? My dude? Turn around. There. Oh, yeah. Why are you so wet? That's so gross. Okay, there you go. Casualty of war. All right, there we go. And now is when you throw it right on his noggin. As many times as you can. They'll still be able to do damage up until he does that kind of move. All right. And then we'll subdivide and just rinse and repeat. This is not really a hard boss fight. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. That's basically as far as I'd go with it. He does not want to cooperate. Did I throw a yellow without a bomb? <laughs> oh, viewers, I'm losing my mind. Whoop. There we go. One of those. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, good. And this is basically like the only way that you can do this. Like you have to do this fight like this. Um, he's only weak to the bomb rock. Nothing else you do will work, so don't waste your time. And a boop. So if I would have grabbed all my reds, this probably would take a lot less time. Oh, did you throw the rock? Oh, that's what happened. You threw the rock and he wasn't paying attention. You gotta get him, gotta get his goat. Have a snack. Oop. Well, I didn't know he could do that. <laughs> oh, I might actually need more bomb rocks after all. This is uh, clearly not going swimmingly. I guess maybe he has uh, different intentions. Also, I really cannot see. Very cool. Thanks, game. Eat it. Okay. I mean, at this point, I got him low enough health that I could probably just start hitting him in the face. Probably safe. Ooh, get out of the way. I don't squish everybody. We'll take whatever pick one I have left, I guess. Being very uh, risque, you know. He's very, oh, he is very almost dead. I guess he does change his attack pattern in that manner. Manner, not matter. I also still have to get the final uh the part all right there we go he's dead Woo! we did it hey, look at his gross face oh is he not dead i thought he was dead okay there we go there he goes he's dead ew he's gross oh i have exactly the right amount of pikmin at long last i found the final part my secret's safe it's as full as ever how glad am I that I've persisted in my search without losing hope. Now I can leave this planet without any regrets. Maybe I'll even stop and pick up some souvenirs for my wife and kids back on planet Hokutate. Maybe. All right, he just kind of seeks, sinks into the ether. Um, I don't really need you guys to have those bomb rocks anymore. I would love you to be able to carry this. Can you not? Oh my gosh. 
Where are their other Pikmin? <laughs> Do I have some that are outside? They might be. Oh, I need to hurry. I'm running out of time. We're carrying this back today. No excuses. Go. No, don't carry that, you stupid. All right, I'm gonna go run back and get more Pikmin to carry this because I am not having this go beyond today. This is what blue Pikmin were made for, to carry the leftover stuff that everybody else couldn't because they are dead. Expertly played by me, as always. All right, I'm just getting everybody out. Let's go. Hurry, 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 hurry. Come on, let's go. Speedy, speedy. Hopefully nobody's getting stuck on the geometry of this horrible final level. Oh, blues. Let's go. What are you doing? Where did they go? Did I... Oh, pff, I walked right past them. Like, where is it? All right, come on. We can definitely do more than... Yes. Ooh, we can do more than half. Wow. Okay. I'll take it. We can do a lot more than half. Okay. We're going to take every ounce of time that we have. The game's like, nah. 92 is a very non-specific amount of Pikmin. Put them back. Carry this piggy bank. He didn't fight that very well. I thought that it was gonna... I didn't realize there was like a secondary variety of the way that the Bull Blacks Emperor would attack me. But that's okay, because we did it. The final piece. Finally recovered every ship part. Time to return to Hokuta today. It's yours, we did it. We did it together. Oh my gosh. The SS Dolphin is complete. Time to get the H out of here. Oh, look at that. All of them are so happy. He's like, I'm not going to die. Yay. And you instantly go to sunset after this. Obviously, nothing else left to do. It'd be cool if you could carry the corpse of the uh, of the Bull Blacks, but the game thought otherwise. Just turns into pellets. Well, I don't know why you would need that. Oh, look at the Pikmin. They're dancing for us. Thanks for your help, slaves, er, friends. Oh, and we'll never see you ever again. It's a shame they never made more games in the series. Oh, bye. Goodbye. Oh, they're like, he's gone. Let's go kill stuff. <laughs> I love that that's their impetus. Like, Olimar's gone. Let's go murder. This is what dad would want. You're darn right it is. Alright, let's enjoy the uh, the wrap-up of this game. With that nice JPEG of Earth. And it is interesting. As you can see, there are onions of all kinds of colors. Although, even with Pikmin 4, no spoilers, um, some of those colors are not Pikmin. So. Wow. What a fun game. Obviously, a short series. This only took me 10 episodes to do it. You can do it faster. I've seen speedruns of six days, but that's insane to me. You basically get every part in one day. Not one episode, but one in-game day. So 15 minutes to gather eight plus parts is insane to me. Or I think eight parts is the most, but the point still stands. But that is not what I did because I am bad at this game, and I am just a cash player but there you go okay not great um you know 20 parts in 30 days really did a good job of getting my pikmin murdered um but yeah that's my record nothing to write home about here are the parts if you don't want to see this you can skip this of course but here are the parts that are required and then there's the final five which four of those five are in the distant spring you don't need the final five to get the ship to lift off. The other ones you do. Let's go ahead and save that game one last time. Not that it matters, because I'm probably not going to play this again for a while. 
the earth where dreams happen an indentured servitude of carrot creatures occurs and i bet they thought they were so cool for this wrapping their credits around a sphere something that has never been done before it was a it was a blast i know this game was probably unexpected but um yeah i wanted to kind of plant some seeds ooh, and grow my love of pikmin i couldn't leave it behind i was playing pikmin 4 when it came out earlier this summer earlier in the summer is now it's now fall officially and man i could not get enough of that i 100 percented that real fast and let's say nhl localization the national hockey league localized this game good for you on the ice and off the ice working hard eq iq that's the uh the chinese gamecube that could also play dvds it was like a hyper powered gamecube strange but anyway back to what i was saying yeah pikmin 4 was definitely the impetus for playing this i saw that this had come out i literally had just bought uh i pre-ordered naughty me pikmin 4 and then the, the switch game shop i saw that pikmin 1 and 2 had come out as a bundle and so i got those of course and yeah i just wanted to play this i know that eastward was really captivating you guys you all love that tons of people watch that series so i put it on hold for a little bit much to the dismay of 10 of you and i wanted to play this so yeah i've gone in reverse order three two one pikmin four huh someday don't worry i'm gonna play it but probably not for a few more series to get them out of the way first I wouldn't want to spoil anything. So we'll let that one marinate for a bit. We'll come back to it. I think there's a post credit scene like a Marvel movie. Stay in the theater. Hooray! Unless this is just more... Oh, this is just showing the enemies. Okay, cool. So this is... What did it, I didn't know that this was a thing. I mean, I guess they do this. And now you can learn the legs of, um... Learn the legs. Yikes. Sometimes I read stuff and then I immediately say what I read. I just have a really bad habit about that. Um, you can see all the official names of the enemies that I am unaware of. I have called so many things the wrong thing over the course of this Let's Play. The next step in, in Pikmin Evolution. Get that witchcraft out of my Pikmin game. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, this kind of feels like the end of a... Um, looks like an early stage of... Oh. Oh, those aren't... Oh, okay. So they're not even... They're a different species entirely. Maybe this is the same thing? Yeah. I always thought that they were babies. Wow. Joke's on me. It's like the end of what I was trying to say is a Super Mario World where they go through all the enemies. I think they do that in Zelda too. Zelda as well. Interestingly, it seems like the final bosses of, uh, of Pikmin, two of them are dog related. Which two? I mean, you can figure that out because I've obviously played three of the four on this channel. Ooh, I did not show this enemy. Um, this is one you have to go back to the first area to fight. Which, you know, there's just not really a need to do that, but you can do that with your blue Pikmin. I don't remember what level it is, but it's around the same time that you can go and fight the Mamuda again. And I don't know if I said this, but and I wonder if they'll show the Smoky Prog at some point. The Smoky Prog allegedly is connected to the Mamuda, where it's like the larval phase of it. There, there you go. So there's the Mamuda, which is still a very creepy creature. Can't kill your Pikmin. Has cool little armbands though, some tribal tattoos. Maybe a uh, 
a UFC shirt, the pearly clam clam. Remember when we tried to fight the one that didn't have an item in it? That was fun and didn't take forever. Yeah, this is strange, they're like showing items and things in the setting alongside the enemies? What is this called? The puff stool. Yeah, there's like a, um, I don't know if I showed it, maybe I did it, but I think that there's something in one of the Pikmin games where if the puff stool gets to your Pikmin, it can turn them into like zombie Pikmin based on like the fungus that it shoots its goo all over them. Hydrogen to float? Creatures have hydrogen? Oh, sheer grub. The male, oh, the male ones are the, are the D-bags. Oh, I thought it was always the ladies. I'm sorry, ladies. I feel horrible now. Oh, the, the sheer wigs are the ones that fly. So it's always the fellas causing problems. Who would have thought? Oh, here we go. Here's the smoky prog. The hidden enemy of the game. Wow, what a horrible um, approach to fighting it. Just let them all get caught in the trail of turds behind it. Well, they're absolutely going to get murdered. Yeah, what a strength. Into fatigue. What? That's not a word. <laughs> okay, I do like that, though. The spotty bull board. What a great frame. Hey, whoever, whoever was doing the in-game capture for this. I thought I sucked at Pikmin. These guys are kind of worse. Antenna has wings? I didn't know that. Here's my least favorite enemy in the game, the Water Dumple. Close relative of the Bull Borb, AKA Butthole. Not a fan of these things. You all know that. The Walpole? Noob, oh, it's a... Wally, oh, they must have changed the name because it was offensive. Oh, I've been offensive this entire time, viewers. Wally Hop, yeah. Used to be called Wally Wog, which probably is, unless this is what that is. No, just a different variety. I'm super confused. That makes sense though. Clean your act up, Nintendo. Okay. The end! Viewers, we did it! The happy end! Happy the end. Happy end the. We did it! Well done, everybody. It's been a blast. And uh, I'll catch you next time for a new series. Thanks for watching. I've been D-Mike. Have a good one. Bye.